Hello, I am uh, Dr. V. L. Arul Selvan, neurologist at uh, Apollo Hospital, Chennai. So, I am uh, going to talk about the post discharge care of patients who get admitted with an acute stroke. So, uh, stroke is a uh, problem where there is a lack of blood supply to the brain or the bleeding into the brain with paralysis and other symptoms. So, once they get the acute treatment and get discharged, there are a few important precautions to be taken and instructions to be followed. So, in terms of the uh, things to be followed, the number one is treatment of hypertension and diabetes. If they have hypertension and diabetes, they have to check daily and make sure that it is within the normal range. The second uh, most important thing is adequate hydration. So, they have to take enough liquids to prevent dehydration which may worsen the stroke. Third is regarding mobility. So, patients who have stroke, they have different levels of disability. Some may be bedridden, some may have mild weakness. So, depending on the level of weakness, they should be able to sit, stand, walk with or without support. So, usually the physiotherapist will be able to help and guide them in the mobilization following the stroke. And uh, the other important aspect is to avoid unnecessary stress to uh, not worry too much, have proper sleep and uh, keep themselves mentally relaxed. And during this period, certain complications can happen. Patients can develop a seizure, patient may fall because of their weakness, patient may develop increased weakness. So here, I think this Apollo 24 bar 7 is a very, very useful uh, app because any patient who gets admitted and discharged, they should have this Apollo 24 by 7 app because sometimes you develop some new symptom, you don't know whether immediately you have to come to the hospital, especially if you are staying long distance. So, if you have the app, you can have a direct contact with the neurologist, you can fix an appointment with the neurologist and you should be able to contact so that they can give the appropriate guidance regarding further care. And if there is a severe weakness which develops or a new symptom, something which you find it is alarming, you have to immediately bring the patient to the hospital for further care. 